Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about some toolkits that I've got kicking around, which I really love. Merry Christmas, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown of some of the tools I use in my life. In this case, screwdrivers and little screwdrivers. The first one is this old clunker that I've had for maybe close to 20 years. And it doesn't like being held vertically very much. The case is broken, half of the bits are stripped, but it is actually still occasionally useful, especially when it's the first one that comes to hand when you need a screwdriver. I think I originally bought it because I needed the T8 Torx screwdriver. Um, the case got dropped, broken, um, like I said, some of the Phillips head bits are chewed out, but it's still kind of handy to have lying around when you need something. But recently, I decided to get on Wish and see what the toolkits there were like. And so I bought a couple of different ones. The first one I bought was this ultra compact little purse type thing, which I think I paid $9 for. It has the handle and two, four, six, 24 bits. Now these range from things like the SMS ejection tool, Phillips heads, stars, torques, the whole lot. It really is pretty much everything you need. And all in this really nifty little carry case. So the idea is you tilt them down and they just pop out. Grab the handle, slot it in, they don't fall out. A little bit of magnetism and they work really well. Some of these, again, have started to strip out just a little bit. Now, maybe I'm not very careful with them. Maybe I'm not picking the right screwdriver for the job. But all in all, for nine bucks, this is a really handy little kit to have kicking around. The latest purchase is this one, which is in this nifty little slide out case. You can happily hold it up. In fact, even tilt it over because all of the pieces are actually magnetically held in. You can just push on the tip and slot them out, but then you pop them back in and they just magnet themselves back in. And obviously the handle just clips in as well. Again, 24 bits. These ones are a little bit different. You've got Phillips heads, Torx in a variety of different sizes. There's tri-point, flat head, pentalobe or star, five-pointed stars, a few hex drivers, a triangle point, and a snake bite point security driver. Again, they just drop into the handle, which is nice and long and comfortable, and really easy to use, small. The case just slides on, very portable, love it. I think this one was maybe about $13 or thereabouts on Wish, plus shipping, but a really useful tool for the tech type people in your life, or even just to have in the second drawer or in the car. I've actually kept this one in the car. The other one I have two of, one lives here in the workshop, and the other one lives on my desk at work. I used this set just this morning with the triple O Phillips head bit, to put a Samsung phone back together that I'd taken apart. This one seems a little bit stronger than the others, although I haven't had it for as long, haven't used it as much, and I'm probably being just a little bit more careful with it. If I had to buy one again, I would probably go with this one rather than the little wallet one. It's a little bit bigger, but it seems that little bit more sturdily made, and the fact that all of the bits are actually labeled, visible, and magnetically held into the case, just makes it that little bit more useful. Question of the day, do you have a favorite set of tools? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician, learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.